Hi folks. Uh, right, it's very dull today. It's warmed up a bit. So no uh, fan heater to distract me or you. What I'm going to do is uh, a wooded stream, woody stream, autumn colours for beginners and advanced. Uh, this is wet in wet. So we give the whole page a good wet. It's okay. This is 90 pound Saunders Waterford. A very, very good paper. So make sure you cover it all. Otherwise you'll get white holes showing. Yeah, unless you want white holes. So the first thing is to put a I can't show you the mixing, well I can, but but I'm uh, going to hold the palette, which I normally do. It's too big to slot down here and use all my colours, so you don't have to take my word for it. This is raw sienna, just a nice wash of that, and we'll put a bit of, bit of light red. It's all going to be painted over. And we we'll, we'll put a bit of blue across the top. Make sure your hairs and your, your brush are together. So we've got a graduated wash. Easy as that. Okay, right now we'll uh, put in a bit of a bit of background. So for that we'll have um, I'll use a the medium hake for that. These are Ron Ranson hakes, highly recommended. I would never use any other type of hake. Well, having said that, I I use occasionally Frank Clark's large hake, and certainly use the the one that I can't find now, the uh, the three quarter inch one. I can't believe I've lost. I don't know where that's gone. <laughs> I spend my life looking for stuff I can't find in the mess. Well, I'm working a mess because I'm going from acrylic to oil to oil to watercolour. So you'll have to forgive me the uh, inconvenience. Anyway, I don't need it. Uh, so we've we'll got a bit of a bit of alizarin and a bit of ultramarine. Let's get a bit of a faint. A bit of burnt sienna in there as well to, to give a I'll just put in some, some colour, it all dries lighter, acrylic stones. All the colour on that side, and a bit here. And now we can uh, superimpose over that. Okay, now I'll put a bit of a background colour on where the stream is going to go. Let's Just mixing some colour just to go in here. Bit of a stream going there. If you get splodges, you can use that as it's used to paint a bird. Get some paint spray loosened up. OK, 
Okay. Now I'll uh, give that a try. Then we can carry on with the uh, with the texture. Okay, that's the uh, painter's friend, it's an old hair driver. It's donkey years old, my wife, it used to be my wife's, but she kindly bequeathed it or lent it to me. Got me bothered all. Oh, I'm determined to find one. What have I done with that wretched brush? I lost two of them, I bet they were in the shower room. This is a loft conversion and we've got a, behind my bookcase, which is behind the easel, there's a shower room, toilet and all that sort of thing. We had the room converted, or the loft space converted, 30 odd years ago. Right, it's still a little bit damp. Um, see, there you can see we've got something to and to give it an impression of distance. We will uh, be stippling on this. But I... Excuse me, no, let's have a look in there. Just... Oh no, here they are. Look. They're on a tray. We cleaned them yesterday. I don't know where Frank Clark's one, big one's gone. Probably on the floor. But that's a lovely little brush. It's a three quarter inch hake. Gorgeous brush. Use that for a bit of texture. And that's my other hake. Any Londoners that are watching this and are against this current lockdown and the draconian measures this wretched government is taking, there's a demonstration at Trafalgar Square. I won't be going. I'm too old. Right, OK, so let's uh, uh, get this uh, stream in now. I want to, you can make it look like it's a, a puddle, very large puddle. Or... You can so it's a bit of Payne's grey, a bit of bit of Payne's grey, a bit of burnt sienna. So let's just it's hard to avoid doing peninsulas. Like that. Bit of green. Payne's grey. Just mix a bit of burnt sienna, a bit of Payne's grey, we want some darks in there. Just while I'm there, just put in a bit of a bit of um, reflection. Quite hard on this paper to dry brush. Well, no, dry brush is easy, but 
to get the paint out of the brush. Oh, I'm just adding bits of colour to avoid monotony. Autumn leaves on the uh, Just mixing yellow, Payne's grey, bit burnt sienna. Vary the colours. We can put bits of grass going through, through there if we wish. Just mixing a bit of burnt sienna with a lump of Payne's grey because it's a good, really good dark. Okay, so that's uh, that, that's going to dry nice and light. We can uh, put in some uh, some foliage up here. Put a bit of a delineation along here. So use your paint's grey just to get that. Separation of what's above to what's on the ground. Payne's grey in there. Now we've got to put something in there, so we'll use a bit of ultramarine, a bit of that red. We get a, an illusion of depth. Pull out the loose hairs from your, your hikes. Okay, so we can go through there. Uh, this is the background to my leaves. I'm struggling to get a bit of water out of the brush because of the roughness of the paper. Dark in here. Then we will 
dry it and so take your headphones off guys and we'll replace right. Now you'll see that that's nice and flat. So we'll start from the back. So we'll take a rigger. Bit of blue. Just, a, just an impression. See, this gives a nice feeling of depth. Remember, some branches come down and they taper. Might do a little bit, a bit more dry brush on that. And we'll do some here. Okay, so we've got we've got distance now. Then we'll do some uh, larger ones. I'm going to use my large hake for this. Take most of the moisture off, and still start with a bit of bit of blue and a bit of burnt umber maybe. I'll tell you what my palette is. We've got cadmium yellow, uh, raw sienna, alizarin crimson, light red. Ultramarine, burnt umber, Payne's grey, and burnt sienna. But you don't, oh, excuse me, you don't have to use all of them. And you can use lemon yellow if you wish. Try, try different things. So we want a dark grey now. Pull out hairs, and then we'll just go carefully. You can finish it off with a rig up, but just want to get some or we can put the, the leaves on later. Can, some here, then you can anchor them by putting some dry brush underneath the, the uh, trunks. A bit of blue, just up some hair. Okay, do some more now. So I got to put a big one.
It's a bit hit and miss, but you get an impressionist feel with the with the hake. They go and ruin it with the rigor. Okay, now I'm going to bury. Well, let's just take some of the water out of that. I'm going to put in a bit of bit of dark. Just lose in the foliage the base, otherwise it looks like they're a bit floating. I need a bit of blue across there, so a good bit of blue. And because that will uh, show the sky transition transition. Okay. So that's our stream done. Bit of a mess there, so I'm going to do a bit of texturing in, in this here now. So we want some Right, now we've got the light coming from behind, so we'll get the shadow coming that way, so that accounts for the darker foreground. Now, again, let's try that. Now we'll thicken stuff up, things up with the hake, um, ultramarine and burnt sienna, burnt umber, sorry. Can make it a little bit, a bit greeny. Now we'll uh, get out of the way, let's uh, come here. By the time I put a load of leaves on, I will do the same with the other side, but well, not the same shape. Let's get one, one in here.
So I'll put two here. Okay. I'll leave that for a moment. Now what we do, we finish the bovril. So we've centred the light. So what we can do, get a bit of a shadowy colour, like palette grey and Okay, right now what we do for leaves, you can either use a sponge or you can smash up your hake like that. Oh, crap in my thumb. Ah. Okay, so we want burnt sienna, go have a bit of water. Get some say sienna in first. Darker ones on the inside, but we'll get down to that in a bit. Let's just put the put these in first. The paint's grey. Darker overhead. Paint's grey, that's yellow. Get some uh, leaves on here. Dry, dry paint almost. More darks in here. This is the furthest away from the light. Same in here. Okay, uh, right, let's give that a dry. Mm -hmm. And then we can add a bit of rigor stuff to connect up. It's no good having leaves there, there's nothing to support them. You can use a paint straight out of like this without using gouache. So what you do is just break your brush up, 
the stuffing in the yellow. Because you do get yellow leaves as the tree is turning. Bit of light coming through. Right, so we've got plenty of stuff in there. Got the rigger, palette to grey. So I'm coming down, um, put a good bit of Payne's grey and a bit of burnt sienna. Oh, see? It's a bit of reflection. That, that says suggest, suggests suggests uh, some uh, reflection. Don't overdo it. Okay, not much more I want to do with that. We should always do though. Good or bad, sign your work. Find a driver. I can't find a driver, I'll put it over here. I usually put it on the left, but it's still a bit wet. Okay, we'll move that. I've done quite a lot of painting this week. Some, you see, some went wrong. One where I, I recorded one for Patreon and I forgot to close the memory card slot on the camcorder. So that was a waste. Two I did yesterday, one I lost. Oh dear, it's been a funny old week. A right, bit of tape. Tape, 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 tape. Right, mount. They always look a lot better with the mount on. There we are, it's quite bright, isn't it? So there we are. That's uh, so this is as complicated as you wish to make it. Um, it's an impression. It's clumsy. But it's very impressionist. And for beginners, remember, washing the screen on the wet paper will allow your paint to diffuse. And you get this lovely shading from blue through the red down into the background, which I put in before I dried it all. Uh, simple colours. Don't load yourself with loads of different colours and put them all out on a palette. It doesn't work. You just confuse yourself. The, use, I've got eight colours on here and I haven't used... Uh, well, I've used them all, haven't I? But a bit of bit of umber in the uh, with the ultramarine for the trunks to get the grey. I haven't used uh, much of the alizarin, so well, you know, you make enough mess on the palette. But remember, this this mess here gives you your some of your greys. It's already mixed. Use them. Don't waste it. Really. 
pack up for, for the session, then clean the palette and I keep mine nice and moist in a document case with a bit of toweling in and needs a bit more water so I've got a, a spray bottle and I just uh, open the bag and get some pump going, just get some water in there and that will stay all nice and moist till the next session. Right folks, I'll get this uploaded for you, hope you enjoy it. Have a go at these things, they're not as complicated. That looks very complicated, but you've seen how I've done it. They're very easy to do. I've probably got a bit heavy in here to, because of the demonstration, but uh, I might do another one, I might not. See you soon, bye bye.